This is Clara TV and the Wolf. Good day, dear listeners, and welcome to Claret TV News in the room. I am Asoga Blessing. And I am Okichuku The headlines. Very Reverend Father Nathaniel A.K., CMA, elected as the new provincial superior for Claritian of this Nigeria province. Father Moore appointed to head prefecture for youth ministry and vocation. Insecurity in Nigeria assumes a frightening dimension. OPEC Secretary General Mohamed Barakindo of Nigeria is dead. The People's Democratic Party needed leadership to pacify aggrieved members. The federal government promises immediate response to Asu's demands. Kujay prison attack. President Buhari expressed his disappointment with Nigeria's intelligence system. And now, the news in full. Clarisha Missionaries, East Nigeria Province elects a new provincial superior who becomes the new proprietor of Claris Academy, Gariki. The Claritian missionaries, also called Sons of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, East Nigeria Province, had their eighth provincial chapter from the 19th to the 6th of June 2022. Sing, our missionary province, rooted and Adashi. The provincial chapter of the Claritian missionaries is part of the process by which the government of the province is formed and critical decisions about the future of the Claritian province are taken. At the end of this eighth provincial chapter, a new provincial superior was elected to replace the outgoing provincial superior, very Reverend Father Simeon Okezo Mozi, CNS. The name of the new provincial superior is Very Reverend Father Nathaniel Eke, CMS. Other consultants of our province we are also elected. They include Very Reverend Father Stanislaus Ekujuru, CMS, Vita and Prefect of Formation. Very Reverend Father Winslow Isidienu, CMS, Prefect of Apostolate. Very Reverend Father Roland Onyali, CMA, Prefect of Spirituality and Community Life. Very Reverend Father Marcel Obilo, CMA, Provincial Bosser. Very Reverend Father Matthew Iwago, CMA, Provincial Secretary. To this effect, our Great Citadel of Learning and School of Champions, Claret Academy Secondary School, Gariki, in Eagle State. As the new proprietor in the person of Very Reverend Father Nathaniel A.K., CNA, who is the new provincial superior of the Claritian Missionaries East Nigeria province. Many Claritians in Nigeria have expressed their felicitation with the young and vibrant team of the 8th Provincial Council. Claret Academy Gariki was not left out as both staff Students and parents were filled with rejoicing when the announcement was made by the school principal and director, Father Matthew Moore, CNN. The principal and director of Claris Academy Secondary School, Gariki, has been appointed the prefect of youth ministry and vocation for the Claritian missionaries, East Nigeria province. This was a follow-up for the eighth provincial chapter in which the Office of Youth Ministry and Vocation was elevated to a prefecture. The Provincial Superior of the Claration 
of the Glyphosate Missionaries, Very Reverend Father Nathaniel Eke, disclosed this in a circular sent on Wednesday, 6th July 2022. He said, For the Prefecture of Youth Ministry and Vocation, we have appointed Father Matthew Moore as its prefect. He thanked the new prefect for his spirit of availability and readiness to work. Insecurity in Nigeria on Tuesday assumed a frightening dimension in separate attacks on different government institutions and officials, including officials working with President Muhammadu Buhari. Premier Times reported how the attack on a presidential convoy led to at least two injuries. According to the official narrative, while the main prison in Abuja, the Nigerian capital, was also attacked. Also, two police officers were killed in the same Katsina state where the attack on the president's convoy took place. Another senior police officer was also killed in a separate state. The killing of the police officers had to over 40 security personnel killed by United States actors last week in the country. The Tuesday's attacks have been highlighted by some observers as a major need for concern in an already troubled country. OPEC Secretary General Mohamed Barakindo of Nigeria is dead. Mr. Barakindo was appointed OPEC Secretary General in 2016, the first Nigerian to hold that position. The outgoing Secretary General of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Mohamed Barakindo, is dead. This was announced by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. He was born April 20th, 1959, and passed on at 63. The People's Democratic Party paid the leadership to pacify aggrieved members. Former National Legal Advisor of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Jacob Mack, has advised opposition parties' leadership to pacify aggrieved members. Niger News reports that Governor Yerson Wike of River State and some of his loyalists are currently at loggerheads with the PDP leadership and its presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar over failed agreements. He warned that ignoring the grievances of Senator Jonah Jank, former Governor Ayodele Fayoshe, Governor Sheyi Makinde, Governor Samuel Otto, and others is political suicide. Federal government's promise of immediate response to access demand. The academic staff union of universities, also, has said the federal government's promise of immediate response of immediate reply to its submission to the committee set up to negotiate with it has not been fulfilled nearly a month after. The union has also called on well meaning citizens of the country to take the government to task on how it is handling the running of universities and education generally in the country. The national president of ASU Professor Emmanuel Osodeke said this in a chat with the Vanguard on Tuesday. This is just as Prof. Nimi Briggs, who led the committee set up by the federal government to renegotiate the 2009 agreement with ASU, said he would not know what is causing the delay in the government making his stance known on the report submitted to it. Recall that ASU has been on strike since February 14th this year. President Buhari expresses disappointment with the Nigerian intelligence system over Kuje prison attack. The president, who, like most Nigerians, was shocked by both the scale and audacity of the attack, queried How did the defenses at the prison fail to prevent the attack? How many inmates were in the facility? How many of them can you account for? How many personnel did you have on duty? How many of them were armed? 
There are dead cats on the watchtower. What did they do? Does the CCTV work? The president, who was on his way to Senegal, was also informed that the security forces had recaptured 350 of the SKPs, while about 450 others were still unaccounted for, and that rapid work is underway to recapture the rest. Mr. Buhari, accompanied by Boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the Federation, Professor Ibrahim Gambali, the chief of staff, said at the end of the visit that is expecting a comprehensive report on the incident. Meanwhile, the presidency had dismissed the mountain criticism of the trip to Dakar, Senegal, by the president. Garaba Shehu, the president's spokesman, in a statement on Wednesday, stressed that governments don't stop working because nations face their restraints. To cancel the trip to Senegal would mean that the terrorists are successful in calling the shots, something that no responsible government in the world will allow. And now, with entertainment hub news, our reporter, Juan Kochin Dendu, presents the latest happenings on entertainment around Nigeria. <music> Entertainment Hot News. Luxury releases official video of Paco the Traveler. Ghanaian rave of the moment, popularly known as Black Sheriff, opens his music account for the year 2022 super exciting reform, which he packs Paco the Traveler. This particular record is ascertained to thrill everyone who pays attention to it. The Ghanaian born songster, Black Sheriff, released this catalog to point the urge for music by fans who always look up to him. Black Sheriff is indeed a talented singer. A reverend father has become a viral sensation after a video of him dancing to the hit song Uga by Kiss Daniel featuring Techno made it to net. An Instagram page at Cracks TV which shared the video captured it. Happy Sunday, my comrade. Church Mint activated with a touch of Buga after putting on a long cross adorning around his neck. The unidentified Reverend Father began dancing as the song played in the background. This was after he faked not seeing any camera recording him. With a welcoming smile on his face, the clergyman showed off some dance moves. Gracefully, he then rounded off his showcase with the signature hand pose of the song. From the entertainment desk, I am one watching the end. Back to you, blessing. Thank you, one watching the end. And now for the sports news around the globe. Our sports reporter, Chuku Jameze Nadoze, gives us the latest. <laughs> Thank you very much and welcome to Sports News. On 6th of July 2022, the Claret Academy hosted a friendly match between the boys of Red House and that of Halo House. The match kicked off at 2 p.m. at the school premises. The match was indeed a tough one as the Yellow House came close to scoring, but the Red House defenders were, um, were at alert and defended the goal. Goalless it was in the first 45 minutes. The second half began on a good note for the Red House as Ostrupo Franklin, a Red House striker, scored a goal but was declared an offside by the referee. Ostrupo Franklin scored yet another goal together with Onibu Baldwin, which made the match end in a 2 0 victory in favor of the Red House. I am Chubu Jameze Naduze. Back to you, please. Thank you, Chubu Jameze Naduze. Dear viewers, stay tuned for the weather news. Weather news. Welcome. Other conditions around the country. 
the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, has predicted cloudy and sunny weather conditions from Thursday to Saturday in most parts of Nigeria. NIMET weather at look released on Wednesday in Abuja predicted cloudy skies and Thursday with intervals of sunshine over the northern region in the morning hours with the prospect of thunderstorms over Sokoto, Kebi and Zamfara. According to it, thunderstorms are expected over most places in the region later in the day. The north central region is expected to be cloudy with chances of rains over parts of Kwara and Niger during the morning hours. Thunderstorms are expected across the north central region in the afternoon and evening hours. Cloudy atmosphere is anticipated over the inland cities of the south, while rains are anticipated across the coastal cities, including Lagos, Cross River, Rivers, Bayelsa, Delta, Aquaibon during the morning hours, it said. It forecast exploded thunderstorms over Eboi, Ogun, Enugu, Oyo, Ondo, Anambra, Edo, Abia, Imo, and the entire coastal cities. It said, according to the agency, to reduce incidences of variation and overflow of water beyond its normal limits, gutters and waterways should be cleared of debris and obstacles to ensure free flow of water. It predicted good prospects of intermittent rains over the central states within the period of validity of the forecast, adding that such flash flows were likely to affect some parts of the region. The public is advised to take adequate precautions. Airline operators are advised to get updated weather reports from NIMET for effective planning in the operations. It added, I am Esen of Mary. Back to you, Lesson. And now the news commentary. The news commentary is on technological giants, Apple and Microsoft. Our reporter, Wokeke Emmanuel, gives us the news commentary. <laughs> Apple and Microsoft Developers Conferences Exhibit Company Strengths and Weaknesses During the past few weeks, we had two Developers Conferences The addresses in the Apple, Apple Watch are not yet interesting But for the most practice, it had nothing to do with developers Apple traded off its developer focus to ease them from the company to get excited about buying this new of store. All in all, it is relatively expensive. That's if you don't take into account the collateral damage of not doing the keynote properly, long and recently well done commercial. In the other hand, Microsoft Lighters was Zoom, which had greater overall potential solution than the iPod, but was poorly marketed. It is even the biggest thing on Microsoft history that Apple started. Both companies have made mistakes in this respective market by treating the list of market requirements like they are optional with the Android. Finally, Microsoft seems to have accepted its strengths and weaknesses and mostly focuses on global sales to companies and governments. While Apple has tried to work with companies like IBM and Cisco to address the corporate market, it still seems that Apple is unwilling to do what the market requires, which brings up the issue of the continuous failure. I am Okay Emmanuel from Clyde Academy Secondary School, home of champions. Thank you all for listening. Dear viewers, thanks once again for listening to Claret TV News. But before we go, a recap of the top stories.
Very Reverend Father Nathaniel A.K. CNN, elected as the new provincial superior for declaration of this Nigeria province. Father Moore appointed the head prefecture of youth ministry and vocation. Insecurity in Nigeria assumes a frightening dimension. OPEC Secretary General Mohammed Barakindo of Nigeria is dead. The People's Democratic Party lead its leadership to pacify its members. The federal government promises immediate response as to the land. Could you please attack? President Hillary expressed disappointment with Nigeria's operating system. Thanks, our dear listeners, for watching Clara TV. Do remember to get your PVC if you are of valid here to go and exercise your civic responsibility as a good citizen of our nation, Nigeria. Once again, I am Asoba Lesson and I am Kichibu Imelda. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>